Welcome to another episode of Small Talk. I'm your host, Jim Gilbert, and with me here in the studio, as usual, is my lovely co-host, Natalie Grace. Happy Valentine's Day. And a happy early Valentine's Day to you as well. So it's been about a month since we did our end of year review. So a month into 2016, how is, uh, how's your January gone? We went to Ash's birthday and I just forgot to have the balloon for him that I picked out. Really, I like that cake and I really like driving in that car. Oh yeah, that's right. Asher got a uh, kid's electric motorized car and all the kids were playing with it. So you had fun with that. Yeah, I drove it. <laughs> Yeah, and you hit every wall in the garage. Uh, but I didn't hit you. No, you didn't hit any people, so there's a bright side. What do you think about this weather? Isn't that something crazy? Yeah, I never, I never had a winter like this when it's warm. Your, your when, first winter was warm, but you don't remember that. We went to the park today. Can you believe that? Yeah, I know. It was 60-some degrees, beautiful weather, balmy. We went, there's baby Jack under the table again. <laughs> Speaking of princesses, you've been playing quite a bit with your Barbie dream house. Are you enjoying that? Yeah. And last night, we went to see if the cats would fit in it, and it turns out they actually do. It was really funny. Let's do it tonight. Today night if we can find Ted. Well, I, yeah, he was a pretty good sport about it, but... Uh, what? Do you want to come talk about Batman? Come here. So for Christmas, Jack got some Batman stuff. So you want to talk about your Batman stuff? Mm -hmm. What about Batman? He has a house. What kind of house? A Batman house. What's well, more like a cave? A Batman house. Yeah. A, a Batman cave, you mean? Yeah, it's a Batman cave. And who's in the Bat cave? Hmm. Bat stuff. Bat stuff. Batman, Robin, the Batmobile? Uh -huh. You want to say anything other than uh huh? No. Nope. Okay, there you go. And that's why the podcast doesn't have Baby Jack normally, because he doesn't have a lot to say. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I have this thing. Yeah, and what is that? It's a mouse, and his name's Tiptoe, and I sleep with him. He's my buddy. Yeah. And I'm going to keep him in this bunny rabbit basket. Okay. I have two animal things. So, Tiptoe is not... A Christmas present. He was in the basement. He's been sleeping in the basement for years and years and years, and you came across him, and now he's your best friend. Yep. Yep. Even I have a best friend that's named Abby at my school, and we're both five. Yep. But well, Abby, but Abby had a loose tooth, and she's already had one. Yeah. Gone. Well, right. We're not trying to replace your your real life friends, but we had to replace one of your stuffed friends. Sadly, Chippy is no longer with us. Mm. Chippy. Who is Chippy? Chippy the squirrel. I mean chipmunk. He's a chipmunk. He was a chipmunk that I, actually I bought at the Grand Canyon um, uh, 15 years ago when I first started dating your mother and we were at the Grand Canyon on a trip and we bought a stuffed chipmunk and it was with us for a long time. Actually, he lived on our microwave. And one day you grabbed onto him, and he was your best friend. And Chippy's disappeared, and we don't know where Chippy's at. He's disap it's, a, it's a big mystery at Mingy and Pika. Yeah, I disappeared at Mingy and Pika's place. But you know what? It's too big. <laughs> yeah, it's a big house. There's lots of places he could be hiding. Yeah. So Christmas present-wise, uh, I think we made out pretty good, but I actually came away with a good bit of Amazon gift cards, and it was burning a hole in my pocket. So we we bought a new toy, didn't we? What did uh, what did we get recently? That truck, and we rammed it over a sign. Yeah. Our signs. Which is actually a collection of signs. 
Whoa. This is a segue. It's a segue to a new segment I like to call Show and Tell. This show is a, and Tell? Yeah, it's where we show stuff and we tell about it, right? So this is actually the truck. So this is a Traxxas Stampede. It is a four-wheel drive RC truck. It's got big honking shocks on it, and it goes really, really fast, right? Yeah, I drive it. It has a remote. Yeah, actually, I got the remote right here. I know this looks a little weird, but it is a remote. Yeah, well, how's it work? Yeah, you have to push this lever to get it going, and you pull this back if you want to back up. And this thing kind of looks like a car steer, yeah, but except it's kind of like a tire. It's it's kind of like a tire, and you but it you steer it, so you can go left or right. A lot of people probably know that I have a drone, and the drone that I have is the DJI Phantom. He got that a little earlier. Yeah, I got this last year. It was another one of those Christmas uh, sale uh, spectaculars, but um, we've we've had are a lot we of fun do, with this. Are, are we going to do the little one too? Yeah, I'm, I'm getting to that part. I'll, I want to get that one. Okay, so this is kind of... I don't know, a standard size for a drone, at least this size. It has the camera underneath on a gimbal. It's stabilized, so when you're flying, it's very smooth to get that kind of Hollywood look. But you can see that this thing is actually quite large, and it's it's very heavy, and now the FAA requires everybody to, to um, register. Even look, even look, I can hold it. Yeah. Yeah, it's not too heavy. It's just for, for RC stuff, it's actually, um, it's pretty heavy for like an, an RC helicopter. So you go from this size, and there's quite a bit of expense involved with this, but you can get a much smaller drone for much less money. And I ordered one about two months ago, and it finally showed up because it came from China. This is a little one. Yep. Daddy just got it today, and you fly it in the house. It's, uh -huh. I know it's a little small, but it's it's not that heavy than the big one. I know it's small, but you can see it. This thing is tiny. And it, if, you know, I mean, it easily fits in the palm of your hand. I mean, it is so stinking tiny. But um, it's a fully functioning quadcopter. It actually has a camera in it. It's uh, not a great camera, but it is a camera. And you can sync it up with your phone and stream video and pictures. Wow. And uh, you fly it just like the other ones. And you can pick these up very, very cheaply from China. So let's uh, swap back over here. Let's give it a shot. What do you say? You want to, you want to, you want to try it? Yeah. And make sure the throttle's down. Turn the switch on. Beep. Okay. And then you push it all the way up. It beeps. Pull it all the way back down. It beeps again. And now it's ready to go. So if I push up the throttle, it's going to take off. You ready? Yeah. Yeah, you might want to lean back for this. <laughs> this thing is super squirrely, but in, you know, for a tiny little It looks a little white. Drone, it looks a little white in it, but I know it's different colors. Yeah. And it's this. black and white, actually. And the lights are Christmas colors, red and uh -huh. green. And this thing flies exactly like a much larger... Whoa, man, it's squirrely. Whoa. Oops. Ah, it's really squirrely. It is very squirrely. <laughs> you call me squirrely. Thank you. Yep, all right, let's try this. If one. I'm being crazy. <gasps> so, the... <laughs> oh. Yeah, so the blades are not sharp, thankfully, so we can risk the infamous Little Piggy episode from a few years ago, which was kind of the beginning of my helicopter days. Okay. Do you want to take it around or lay it in the hand? Alright. Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> and so for, you know, 30 bucks, not bad. It comes with everything you need. It is super tiny, so you can fly it in the house. Very low risk of hurting anybody. And uh, 
Pretty cool. So what do you think? Pretty cool, huh? You know what I'm thinking? What? I'm thinking you've had quite a lot of fun today and it's bedtime. Can we do that? Can we do the same? Can we do the... Can we try to get Teddy in my Barbie dream house again? Yes, we will stuff the cat into your Barbie dream house again. <laughs> <laughs> you little psycho. All right, and on that note, I think we'll <laughs> sign off for the evening. So from here in the studio, I'd like to say a happy Valentine's Day, happy Easter. I don't know when we'll do our next thing, but whatever. Happy winter, everybody, and good night. Bye.